What up dudes? I wasn't planning on making this video. I am currently making a blanket ladder as a surprise for uh, my girlfriend Taylor's birthday. I wasn't planning on making it because it's a surprise, but then I realized that the video won't be out until afterwards, so I figured why not because this project actually turned out pretty cool. I'm really enjoying it. I haven't done too much yet, so I will go ahead and just get you guys caught up. I am uh, right now working on the angle cuts uh, for the sides of the ladder so that it sits um, at a nice nice angle there and sits against the wall. Other than that, I have also processed a few pieces of cedar, sanded them down, cut them to size, uh, and these will be the rungs of the ladder. So, nothing too exciting. That's what I have so far. The plan is to, where is it? These are my sort of test pieces, is to fix it to one side, like so, and have a hanging off piece on the outside for a spot to hang, like a towel or a robe or a hoodie or something like that. And each rung is gonna alternate, so it'll be this, then the next rung down will be like this. So it'll be asymmetrical, but overall symmetrical with the hangoffs. So that's the direction we're going. Stay tuned, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, see you there. Very flush, very flush, and very flush. Shoo! Two nearly identical pieces. Love to see it. All right. So these are the sides. This is basically the base of the ladder done. And so now we have got to cut those holes so we have some overhang. I like the proportions of these sizes of wood too. I think they're gonna look nice. Looking good. between each rung, 18 inches from the bottom, because the blanket hanging on the bottom, you're gonna need to have somewhere to hang. Um, and I'm thinking about six inches from the top for the first one, with 2.5 inches is each rung. And so all of that math that you just saw leaves us with 11 inches in between each one, I believe. So let's just map it out and see if, see if we're correct. math there but 11 inches wasn't the number I think it's 13.5 because we are 10 inches off from the 18 inch mark from the bottom and then divide that by 4 because it was 2.5 so each uh, in between is off by that 2.5 and initially I was trying to account for that 2.5 and I had that 13.5 number and I can't exactly explain it why that just disappears but I'm gonna redo it with uh, 13.5 so Okay, now we're at 21 inches from the bottom. I don't know what's going on. I'm sure if I sat down with a piece of paper, I could tell you, which I might just do. All right, y'all, we got it sorted out. Sorry for the terrible drawing. So this is the board and we have got our Two by five is two by five is two by five is two by five. The total distance between is 54. And really the key to the mistake was there's only three spaces here. And I was dividing it by four. 
So doing it the original way works, 54 minus 10, which is our 2.5 times 4, leaves us with 44 inches total in the space. So then 44 divided by 3 leaves us with 14.66 repeating for each space. So let's try it, hopefully, one last time and get it down to 6 and 18 inches. So now what we're doing is trying to measure out the complementary angle to get the rungs to sit vertically. This now will be our horizontal, so I should be able to take a angle and draw it down and it should give us pretty darn close to 90 degrees so that our rungs are going to sit like so, so that they sit straight up and down. And it works, you can tell, because this is the guy that goes against the wall, so that's our reference for our vertical, so it should be matching that. Okay, now that those are drawn out, it is time to cut holes. Four total, alternating sides, and I would like them to be as snug as possible. Alrighty, so that is cut number one. It's not perfect. The, uh, the bits kind of went out of the lines a little bit when I was drilling, unfortunately, but uh, it'll do. So uh, repeat this three more times. I'm not gonna film it because you just saw it and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Alrighty, we got all four holes cut. And now it is on to sanding and then start assembling. Alrighty, so everything's cut, everything's sanded, and now I am going to fashion a little system to clamp it all together to the right dimensions and the widths before I screw everything in, because um, I think that'll make my life a lot easier. That's what we're doing now. clamped up, I think, as good as it'll go. And now we're gonna start drilling things. I'm gonna start over here, drill the fixed sides in, I think, of all of them. Yeah, we'll go from there.
Phew. Okay. That took a lot longer than I expected and it was a lot more complicated. We got the fixed sides all screwed in, all four of them, but it's still floating. The tube could come apart right now. So now what's next is put a couple screws through the back to fix these guys in place. So this isn't the most structurally sound bladder. I don't know if you can see well enough. Screws that go to this guy only go in about less than a half inch. And then these guys just kind of zip through the back, but it's only holding blankets. And I want to be really careful and use kind of skinny screws and not going too deep because I didn't want to split it. Before I stand it up, while I have it like this, I'm going to sand over uh, the screw holes. So you add another blanket that went past this, it should fall behind this one. Throw a sweatshirt on the edge there. Boom. I'm really happy with that. It's, uh, it's not perfect, but nothing really is. I think she's gonna like it, which is important. That is all that matters. There you have it. Now, the last step is to give it to her. So you can see some of the details. We got the stagger there. We got it lays nice and flat on the angle at the bottom. And also rests flat against the wall and has a flat top as well. And then all the rungs are vertical straight up and down. Yeah, that's what we're rocking. It's awesome. Super excited to give it to her. I love it. I love it so much. 